A family is being frightened by a ghostly apparition somewhere in Mexico, and this is the moment they finally see it. So, ¿qué se, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió. Espérate, cálmate, cálmate, cálmate. ¿Hay alguien ahí? The side of someone's face peers out from within the closet, but when they go to check where it just was, it's gone. There definitely was something in there, because you can see its face push up against a shirt. However, at 36 seconds, there may be an editing cut when the camera is covered. This could be where they stop recording, let him out the closet, and start recording again. It's after hours at a hardware store when this red balloon floats into view for no reason at all. The store owner doesn't notice anything out of the ordinary. As he makes his way to a shelf to price some items, the balloon stays in place for approximately 15 seconds, which is already weird enough. But then once his back is turned, it steadily moves in his direction and even slowly floats to eye level, where it stays behind him for a long time. When he still doesn't notice, it actually floats around to cut him off. According to the owner, the air conditioning was turned off and there was no draft in the building, so there really should be no way for this balloon to be moved at all. Besides, he doesn't even sell them to begin with and has no idea how one floated into a closed store. Maddie and Elijah are ghost hunting with a guide named Eric in an old asylum that has over 80 rooms of horror to investigate. Let's talk about this door. They think somebody scratched at it for hours and I think that's what it looks like, but I seriously hope it's termites. To support their theory, these scratches at 10 minutes and 55 seconds do look like someone took their nails to the wall, as well in a fit of madness. Later, they hear this distant moan. I definitely think this sounds like a person, but let me know if you can think of some other explanation. So that's it. What the f Did yeah, you hear that? No. So that's creepy, but what I want to talk about more than anything is what happens after Elijah makes the mistake of holding a haunted bridal doll. This crazy noise is the spirit's response to being asked what her name is. It sounds wicked and definitely like nothing I'd want to be in the same room as. Even Eric admits he has never heard such a harsh EVP come from that doll before in all his experience as a tour guide, and he also says nobody has ever touched her before, so I think it's real. And as further proof, look what happens when the doll is asked if she's upset about being touched. Are you mad that Elijah came in and touched the bride? Judging by this paranormal ripple effect of negative energy caught on camera, I'd say yes, she was. Michael Idelstein recorded this bizarre encounter with his phone in 2016 to show that it was haunted, and many people have agreed with him ever since. What's really weird is how this phone apparently waits until Michael is almost finished recording and then hits a completely different number, followed by two sevens and an asterisk. I can't say for sure if this is paranormal or not, because it could just be a glitch or maybe even water on the screen. Let me know if you've ever had anything odd like this happen to your phone, and if you are a phone technician, tell me what the odds are of this happening to such a wide variety of buttons at once. A YouTube series called The Under Vlogs follows Rachel, Kiva, Tyler, and Derek on their various adventures. This time, they're split up on a competitive scavenger hunt, checklist and all, in a creepy 1908 children's hospital that's been abandoned since 1998. Tyler and Derek are goofing around, but things become tense when they notice a creepy clown head with dripping red eyes that could be a warning of what's about to come their way. They sense something wrong and run away, and that's when, approximately 10 seconds later, this shadowy figure looks out at them, roughly the same height as the clown graffiti in the doorway, so I'm glad they followed their instincts and left fast. 
A YouTuber named Jerry Wells and a housemate sit across from each other while playing with a Ouija board. Apparently, they have been experiencing strange paranormal disturbances around the home for some time, and now they're turning to the Ouija board for answers. We're going to try to find out what's in this house. I don't know how else to try to contact it. We've got to find out what it wants. Hey. I'm going to see if I can get it to play the slow. Look closely and you can see the board quivering unnaturally as they speak. Well, or tell us what you want, what it'll take to leave me and my family and our home alone and never return. We're tired of this. Just tell us what you want. Jerry Wells asks what it wants and B-L-O-O-D is the reply, followed by a metaphysical reaction. What do you mean blood? What do you want? Come on now. If this is fake, then I have no idea how they did this. You can clearly see underneath the table the entire time, so it's not magnets, and I don't see a string either. If you don't believe this is paranormal, then let me know how they managed to make the board shake and jump straight into the air. It's not unusual for a radiator to make noise, but imagine this noise coming from behind your radiator. The original upload of this video was deleted, but was luckily saved by other YouTubers. The creature who's been living behind his radiator starts to rattle it and makes a squeaking noise, prompting the camera to peer behind it into the darkness. After several minutes of peering and not seeing, the camera seems to focus in on something more distinguishable. An eye at the bottom of the radiator appears. It doesn't look like a mouse eye or the eye of any other small rodent, but rather the eye of a human-like creature. The sound of a monkey erupts. Watch it if you're brave, but be ready to jump. Uncharted Travel is the name of a ghost hunting YouTube channel who goes exploring an abandoned children's mental asylum at 3 a.m. With over a hundred years of terrifying history involving cases of neglect and mistreatment, this derelict mental asylum is supposed to be one of the scariest and most haunted places in Baltimore. Almost immediately, the ghost hunters think they hear movement coming from upstairs, weird noises that I can just barely hear kind of like children's footsteps. There stairs. There's somebody walking the stairs. The creepy sounds are followed by much scarier noises. They go exploring the second floor of the not-so-abandoned but almost certainly haunted children's mental asylum in search of the scary noises, and that's when their paranormal investigation uncovers a mysterious brick wall sectioning off a part of the asylum with a child-sized hole in it. It's a creepy moment for sure and not exactly something you would expect to find at 3am. And maybe it's just me, but this looks like it might be a hidden room with bars behind the brick wall. Across from a children's playroom with two creepy dolls is a holding room with weird drawings on the wall and much higher up, two round holes, perhaps marking where a caretaker lost their temper. They go exploring the rest of the rooms and start to retrace their steps to see if they missed anything. And that's when one of the ghost hunters has a scary moment and comes running back to the group. Door. No, 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 the door just opened by itself. No, no, no. no. Which one? That door just opened by itself. I do believe this part and I'll tell you why. It's because there's an apparition behind them that I bet you didn't even see. As he runs downstairs screaming about a ghost opening the door, a scary ghost faces in the window, eyes and all. It appears again at 28 minutes and 26 seconds, a stretched out ghost face in the window, or perhaps it's their flashlight shining into the dirty glass, I'm not sure which. All I know is a half a minute later all remnants of this bizarre ghost face in the window are completely gone, so I think it could have been a paranormal ghost sighting after all. Also, when they go upstairs to test the door that the ghost allegedly opens, they get more paranormal evidence on their equipment. Yeah, you're getting big readings over here, Dan. I wonder why. <laughs> 
The beeping of their equipment turns into a solid note when they get within close proximity to the door. Notice how this solid note of paranormal evidence happens again when he actually opens the door. Damn, those dolls are in a completely different place from when we last saw them. Coincidentally, this is the same door leading into the children's playroom, and unless the ghost hunters reposition them, at least one of the two creepy dolls moved by itself since the last time they were in here. So yeah, don't go exploring this abandoned mental asylum at 3am, because apparently you'll see some truly weird things. Some things you have to see to believe. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Wretched Cataizer says this video was captured in 2007 in Indonesia. The Redditor writes, Since access from the main city to village is far enough, they use magic to lift this extra weight mosque dome to the top. Reported by local news, the footage shows a dome appearing to float in the sky. While on the ground, the people chant, <laughs> The dome appears to be fluttering in the wind, so it's unclear what it's made of or whether its materials could explain the seemingly miraculous levitation. It continues to rise higher into the sky, while people chant and cry out. Many in the comments think a pulley system might come into play, while others are suggesting it's just a balloon floating. Redditor Sign Local writes, So after this, when you see an unidentified flying object, it's just floating construction tools. Either sounds supernatural to me. Everyone has a smartphone nowadays. This means that at a moment's notice, any scary encounter with a stranger can be caught on video with the press of a button. YouTuber Savage Squad 1 published one of these scary stranger encounters in November of 2016. He wrote in the video's description, Sorry if I didn't film the whole thing, I was running. Running from what? The footage starts in the middle of things and shows a group of teenage boys gathered on top of a children's toy at a park. A woman is seen approaching them in order to confront them. One of the boys apparently had said something rude. So rude that she felt the need to threaten him with a knife. Although the video didn't capture the entire encounter, it appears as though one of the boys said something about how he himself was raised. He badmouthed his upbringing and his parents. The woman mentions this and then says to remember that people carry knives. Are you gonna hide? Are you gonna stay up there? <laughs> God, you were raised pretty bad, weren't you? I don't think so. I would be, so. Yeah, so remember that people carry knives. I didn't. And when you keep talking about your own parents. And she pulls out her little switchblade to remind them. But once it is out, the video ends. We don't know if there was a big showdown or not, but from what the uploader said, the kids ran away. Can you blame them? Luxiai is investigating a purportedly haunted cemetery. As they approach the area, they find a lifeless animal near a tree. <laughs> Acá pueden ver, pueden corroborar que hay un animal, miren, un animal muerto también, de los, de los gualichos que se hacen acá en esta, en esta zona. ¿Lo puedes levantar por favor? Sí. Ve, este animal. He captures some of the tombs on video. Puede ver uno de los. Allá atrás se puede apreciar. No sé si alcanza la toma de mi celular, porque mi celular es un celular muy, muy, muy bajo en resolución. Pero bueno, vamos a caminar a ver si podemos ver algo. And then he and his entire extended family continue walking until they see what they came for. Did you see that figure? <laughs> The figure in white appears very small and moves slowly through the tall grass. After putting some distance between them and the mysterious creature, the cameraman turns around to capture one last glimpse. <laughs> La verdad que se mueve, está en movimiento. 
La verdad que Jesús de Nazaret. No, no, vamos, corra, corra. Agarra el agarra el agarra el agarra el Is it a witch? A ghost? The YouTuber believes it's an elf. I'm wondering if he might be on the right track, but in that case, why not stick around to see if it's good or evil? Is this a ghost or not? Is what the uploader of this potentially paranormal video wants to know. First, let's watch this intro. Welcome to Inspect the Gadget. As soon as he introduces himself, an object moves by itself behind him, or maybe a ghost introduces itself in return he suspects. I think the object fell forward on its own because it was top heavy. This video could explain a lot of other alleged ghost sightings on YouTube where an object moves on its own, but I don't think this was faked on purpose. Just a coincidence is all. What do you think, real ghost or not really? This creature in the sky is unidentifiable but it's got six legs. We originally came across this video on the Spanish-speaking scary video community in June of 2019. The thing appears to have a pin head, multiple crab-like legs, and finally wings. As you can see when it takes off from the tree branch it's crouched upon. The creature looks extraterrestrial. It's certainly something nobody has seen on Earth. Whatever it is, you don't want this monster hiding under your bed. We managed to track down the original source, and this turns out to be a CGI creature made by the Nicaraguan YouTube team, JJPD Producciones. So if you come across this video because it's spreading all over the internet, now you know its true origins. If you're going to rent a historic home, don't expect to get any sleep. Posted to the ghost subreddit, Sicaria Symbolum was staying at a 500-year-old cottage when something odd happened. The light shade moved outward on its own. This prompted the Redditor's dog to freak out. He's seen in the video staring at something and whining for several minutes. What is this dog seeing that's invisible to the human eye? Many in the comments describe similar experiences with their dogs. Some look in a certain corner of the room, others in the hallway, and they don't budge. Others say many of their ghost encounters were with their dog. So what is it about the spirit world and animal senses? What are they seeing that we don't? I think it may forever remain a mystery. Some ghosts just want a little attention. This one apparently isn't getting enough. Published by Jeff Miller in April of 2018. Watch closely as this ghost takes his revenge in this family's kitchen. Something flies off the wall shortly into the video that the uploader says is a picture. Having heard the disturbance, the home's resident enters the frame heading into the kitchen. Did he come face to face with his ghost roommate? Unlikely, but maybe he should take the hint, the roommate wants the house to himself. A group of friends are hanging out, basically making a random video to pass the time until their power comes back on. They nervously joke about a number of different scary things that could happen to them while huddled together in the dark when a creepy moment actually does occur. <laughs> <laughs> What? You saw something outside. We're not that stupid. No, seriously, guys, I saw something outside. No one believes him when he tries to explain that they were being watched in the window by something bizarre outside, but I certainly saw it, and if you didn't, trust me, soon you will. He's creeped out and zooms into the area where he last saw it run off to. That's when he catches a glimpse of the mysterious figure again. A strange humanoid creature is crawling on the wall on all floors. They lose sight of it, but that's because it's only seen when it wants to be seen. Soon its frightening face fills the window, glowing white eyes and all. In an instant it's gone again until they see movement in the bushes.
When you look at it up close, you can tell it's definitely wearing clothes, maybe a collared shirt underneath a hoodie. So this is probably a skit and just one of their friends. Still, the glowing eyes and lack of a face are freaky. I hope they are special effects and not a humanoid on the prowl. All of them rush outside for a confrontation. One of them brings their arm down while holding something heavy, and with a sickening crunch, it's all over. You get the flashlight. <sighs> a father and his two children explore this abandoned house as a strange way to bond together, but I think it might have ended up ripping them apart. They cross into the dark kitchen and immediately hear a wild growl. <laughs> followed by low whispers and a pair of glowing eyes. They are hurrying out of the house as fast as they can, but debris is everywhere, and they have to move slow. Just when they are about to leave, they find the way blocked by their absolute worst fears. The thin ghoul is barely reminiscent of a human. Its features wide and dark and taking up large portions of its face. Its eyes and nose are missing. Its mouth nothing more than a wide cavern, extending from cheek to cheek. There's a specific fear towards someone trying to break and enter your home. The intrusion makes you feel incredibly vulnerable and violated. YouTuber What Up Chris knows what it feels like. He published this footage to YouTube in April of 2016, writing, This man was seen trespassing and trying to enter my home. The security footage shows a white truck pass by the house in question. Presumably, the truck pulls up down the street to park, while its owner gets out and saunters down the street adjacent to the home. He is seen in the video walking casually, appearing as though he might pass by the house before he takes a sharp left and walks brazenly up to the drive towards it instead. Another camera angle catches him walking up the front steps before turning right around again without knocking. He takes a right to walk around the house in order to find a different access of entry. Another camera captures the intruder walking around the side of the house towards the backyard. The man disappears off camera for a moment before returning and trying to knob off one of the side entry doors. As they are all locked, he gives up and leaves. His white truck is seen a moment later, driving the opposite direction, down the road from whence he came. The homeowner has since come out of the house in his wheelchair and can be seen taking a picture of the truck with his phone likely in order to capture the license plate number. Smart move on the homeowner's part, although it's unclear if the attempted intruder was ever caught. We can only hope this man captured enough video evidence to put him behind bars. A YouTuber named Unexpected is documenting his exploration of an old military facility. The abandoned building has reportedly since become a setting for an underground cult to perform strange and bizarre rituals, which he wants to learn more about. Daylight does not make this place any less terrifying as he crosses through hallways covered in cult warnings and symbols. Judging from this room and others like it, it seems as though the rumors are true. He stops to investigate a square panel on the floor that matches a hole in the ceiling. It gives him a bad feeling and I wouldn't be surprised if he was being watched closely from this hiding spot. A few minutes later, he's standing in the very middle of the structure and there's a little light here. That's when he hears rustling footsteps nearby. The footsteps cease soon and he finds another hole in the ceiling. It's almost like somebody is using these above ground tunnels as a way to stay one step ahead of him. Everything grows quiet and still once again. For some reason, a far door grabs his attention. You don't get to see them very clearly, but what appears to be a large hooded figure is standing on the other side. Whether this is scripted, paranormal, or a cult is up for you to decide. I am just glad he was near an exit and made it out alive. A YouTuber named Johnny Paranormal decides to also go into the infamous Aokihara Forest. He boosts the sound of his microphone to capture every paranormal sound, and he is surprised at what he records. For example, tell me if you hear a demonic growl here. Or a quick coughing noise here, despite Johnny Paranormal being all alone. 
or a second person quietly whispering the word help. I was just. These creepy sounds continue to follow him throughout the entire video, which is roughly an hour and a half long. I think that's way more editing than most people would be willing to put into a fake video, so I think there's a strong possibility that this is real. What's especially concerning is this demonic noise that follows him wherever he goes. It's saying my battery's going flat. Again. If Johnny Paranormal really was surrounded by the supernatural, then I hope nothing followed him out of the forest. Have you ever felt like someone was watching you while you slept? The truth is, they might be. A couple in Bucktown, Chicago discovered an intruder had crept into their home to take their valuables and to watch them creepily as they snoozed on the sofa. He was captured on a security camera gazing at the couple, Jordan and Jack, from the upstairs balcony while they slept below on their couch during a Netflix binge. It was only when Jack said to his girlfriend, why are you at the top of the stairs wearing a white hoodie before we went to bed? And she answered, I wasn't at the top of the stairs, that the pair started to freak out. The intruder stood over them, watching for nearly five minutes the first go around. Then he went back to snooping through the couple's things, only to return and gaze at them for another five minutes. The intruder is believed to have burglarized other neighborhood homes. He managed to get into the house through their bedroom balcony door, which they left open. In fact, he was so light on his feet that the couple's dogs didn't even budge. They slept the whole while at their owner's feet. What valuables did he take? As it turns out, only Jordan's purse. In fact, this was the reason the couple watched the surveillance video in the first place. They'd gotten into an argument about where Jordan had left the purse. Jack suggested she'd forgotten it at the restaurant they'd gone to the previous night. Jordan insisted she'd brought it home. Moral of the story, binge watching Netflix is more unsafe than you'd think. When walking alone in the wilderness, you generally don't want to run into anyone at all, let alone someone perched in a place you'd least expect them. That's exactly what happened to this individual, whose footage was posted to YouTube in August of 2014. The person appears to be walking in a rather remote forested area. Ahead stands a blocked stone tunnel, and sitting atop the concrete is someone dressed in a white shirt facing the tunnel's interior. What are they doing there, and why? Reaching this depth of the forest, or that tunnel itself, are quite difficult tasks. The cameraman doesn't wait to find out, and probably rightly so. He backs away slowly, before turning around and moving quickly out of there. Some locals in the comments insist to never approach that area, saying this is really serious, never go. I gotta agree, better safe than sorry. A YouTuber named DK goes ghost hunting at 3am, using a mirror in his home that's apparently haunted. He sets up a camera and waits until 3 a.m. Sure enough, the video glitches out and shows what appears to be someone's hand. Also, look in the mirror itself and you'll see a face looking to the left with its eyes closed. Let me know if you see it, and if so, what you make of this haunted mirror. This bar ghost is one angry customer, posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Zazzy Malith. The redditor claims this clip is video proof that the restaurant she once worked at was haunted. The clip shows security footage shot from behind the bar of the restaurant. A close-up reveals a glass sliding of its own accord and then appearing as though it simply hops right off the counter, smashing onto the floor. Nothing and no one caused it to fall. Zazzy adds to the perplexity of this writing. The glass that fell was one of those wine glasses that are heavier on the bottom to prevent it from falling over, and was sitting on a non-slip rubber mat used commonly in bars. Just one more reason to call in sick. Redditor Pipboy1050 captured this on his security camera at work, and it may make you want to call in sick. Of 
Well, some think it's a ghost. The way it hovers looks almost mechanical to me. The Redditor writes that it went on for longer, and he could see the entire figure from top to bottom, and then saw it leave. In some traditions, souls are said to stay on Earth for 40 days after their passing. It definitely looks like a Pukong to me, but it could also just be a bug on the lens. Which side are you on? The audio of this dashcam video will haunt you. At around noon in October 2014, in Indianapolis, Indiana, a woman was sitting in her car outside an office building with a dash cam recording in process. In the video, a person can be seen walking past her vehicle wearing a strange mask, while the footage only shows one individual. According to the woman, there were five of them total out of sight. You can hear the woman laughing as she asks the group where they got their masks. But soon she learns that this isn't a joke as they smash out her windows and rob her. <laughs> The woman was pulled out of her vehicle by her hair and thrown on the ground by a woman in a face mask and camo jacket. The attacker then took the woman's cell phone and purse. It seems this wasn't the group's first attack of the day. They were also charged with breaking the window of a moving car. Looks like we're not even safe sitting in a parking lot. The Martinez twins are both excited about moving into a new house with an old friend. They are arguing over which rooms belong to who when one of them notices a locked door leading to an unexplored part of the house. None of them have a key, so they pick the lock and step into a plain room with an empty chair. The old chair gives off a creepy vibe. It must have belonged to one of the previous owners. They are talking about what to do with it when suddenly they notice an attic entrance that needs to be checked out. They forget about the chair for now and climb a wooden ladder into a darkened attic. Even though the insulation is making them cough and one false step could send them falling through the ceiling. The group is determined to get to the other side and see what they can find. A small box is waiting for them at the end of their crawl space, but they don't open it up right away, choosing to look at a pile of old magazines from the 1920s instead. When they turn their attention back to the box, they find this old mysterious broken thing inside. Bro, there's like a toy bro. It works from here. Wait, wait, wait. The others try to stop him, but it's too late. An eerie song fills the empty, dark attic space, perhaps for the first time in many years. That's creepy. Bro, you want to hold him? Oh, wow, that's creepy. There's an old Bible even farther back in the attic, but when the music box starts playing a few more notes all by itself, they decide they've seen enough and leave quick. I stop it. All of these things seem like the perfect indications of a classic haunting that I certainly would want nothing to do with, but I'm curious what you think. Don't accept help from just anyone. They might not be what you think. YouTuber Scaryfield shares this creepy video which is trending in the Hindi-speaking YouTube community. The video is actually from YouTube channel True Horror Stories POV, and this horror story occurred on a dark road at night. In the beginning, the woman starts having car trouble in a cursed place. <sighs> <sighs> After pulling to the side of the road, a random stranger stops to help her. The guy checks out a few things, but each time the woman attempts to start her car, it's still having trouble. Tak ada. Tak boleh. 
tahu lah Sal. The man then tells her that it's not a mechanical problem. Hah? Tapi tadi kereta saya betul-betul mati man. Bukan. Benda ikut ni. Benda ikut? Benda ikut. Benda apa cik? Cuba tengok dalam kereta sekarang. Dalam kereta? But rather that something attached itself to her on the cursed route she took and maybe he was right. While this is just a reenactment, these incidents are said to be based on true events. <laughs> well, if this happened to me in real life, I can't imagine I'd live to tell the tale. The Wardrobe Ritual is one of the paranormal world's most dangerous games. YouTubers PIT Paranormal Investigation Team complete the ritual, which turns up more than they expected. Something grabs Debbie, and it isn't human. <laughs> what was that? A human like hand appears for a moment to grab Debbie's shoulder, but no one is behind her. I do believe the ritual was successful. They summoned a demon. Now the question is how do you send it back? This home inspector wasn't expecting to find this. Published by Cleveland Marco in July of 2011, the inspector is at this residence and explains that a former resident is said to have passed away in her sleep there and that her ghost remains. As he's explaining that the ghost is said to enjoy walking around and opening doors in the home, a door opposite slams open by itself. This surprises them all. And she likes to open doors and she says, well they say that doors open by themselves. No way! They try it again. The inspector opens a door, and as he does, the door across the room opens as well. All right, let's do this again. All right. Here it goes. Open the door. No. This happens three times. While well, some are saying it's the air pressure in the room, others are keener on the ghost story. I definitely think something mysterious is going on in this house. This pair of Russian men took the lives of some of the most vulnerable amongst us, the homeless, and they did it so cruelly that they thought it was best to film their evil. The young men used hammers and knives, taking the lives of six homeless people in November of 2010. They ranged from the age of 12 to 69. One of the young men's uncle discovered the video on his nephew's camera, and the pair were subsequently arrested and charged for their actions in April of 2013. One was given 24 years and the other was sentenced to life. Neither sentence seems long enough. A paranormal YouTube channel called Northwest Ghost Adventures claims his haunted attic has the most ghost activity out of anywhere in the UK. Here are two of the best examples of paranormal evidence. On February of 2018, the Northwest Ghost Adventures channel made a breakthrough EVP session with a possessed doll named Lily. Three times in a row, the same male voice speaks through the spirit box. Hi, spirits. Yeah, I'm okay. Can you tell me, tell me the name of this doll? My name's Lily. I think it even starts talking backwards here, which is something I've never heard a spirit box even do before, and also possibly evidence of a demonic ghost EVP caught on camera. 
The ghost hunter administers some more paranormal experiments, and Lily, the possessed doll, passes them all. Can you show us an all, please? Thank you. Can you show me your orbs? A month later, he claims to have been possessed while investigating. He spends the night in his haunted attic, and his eyes open when the spirit box says awake. Awake. Uh. He looks around in a trance-like state for some time. Notice how the ghost meter stays maxed out for over a full minute, beginning at 1 minute and 7 seconds, and continuing until the moment his head hits the pillow at 2 minutes and 26 seconds, at which point the lights go out entirely. As if the demon has left. Was I possessed, he later asks. And I think most of us will agree that yes, he was. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Fit Entry 2562 this redditor wrote, Lightning without thunder. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Zoidberg GE thinks that this is heat lightning. Well, Tillman117 wrote, There's no such thing as heat lightning. The reason why you can't hear it is because it's simply too far away. The light from lightning can travel a very large distance as the sound cannot, considering clouds can be thousands of feet in the air, and the distance you are from that cloud currently can just mean it's too far away for you to hear it. So it seems like both sides are at least in agreement that this mysterious storm has an explanation. But nevertheless, what do you think this is? Let me know in the comments. Have you ever heard your loved one's voice coming from another world? Posted to TikTok by Gio Van Lima, this creepy video will catch you off guard. The man recording hears a woman's voice which he identifies as his girlfriend's, coming from around the corner, but he turns to find her asleep next to him. He writes that they were alone at the time, so who or what is trying to lure him into another room? Is this one of those demon spirits? I think that's a strong possibility. What do you make of the creature in this creepy video? Published in June of 2017, a car is driving through a desert when it slows to a stop. Some animals appear in the area near a fence. From far off, they look like they could be anything. Cows, dogs, the video is unclear. But as the camera zooms in and the car backs up and then turns around to get an unobstructed view, we see that at least one of the creatures looks like something from a horror movie. It almost looks like a humanoid doing a bear crawl, but I can't imagine a human being able to pull that off for as long as this creature does. The way it moves is not characteristic of any animal. It's unnatural. The creature continues on, trotting alongside the other animals. Is this human? Humanoid? Animal? Or some other unknown? It definitely is something I've never seen before. Two workout partners are busy burning calories in an unfinished basement gym when they suddenly realize a third spotter is watching over them. Three, four, Jay, get down. Just get down, get down, get out. The woman doesn't seem to notice at first. 
as a piece of gym equipment on a chain slowly starts to rise on its own. It twists a little and then quickly rises high into the air. Notice how it drops when she runs away. I personally am not sure if this clip is real. I can see that there is a space between the drywall and ceiling. So someone could be on the other side of the wall, pulling a string tied to a chain. If this is real, one thing I don't understand is why he would stop filming. Such a strange phenomenon as soon as it starts to happen. Then again, maybe panic took over and they ran away. Or maybe he kept recording for a while and the gym equipment never moved again. TF141 Ghost goes exploring an abandoned house. One he found on a secret blog about haunted locations in his hometown. He walks slowly across a rotting floor that can barely support his weight. And apparently the floor isn't the only thing left rotting in this house. As you can see, I mean, it's definitely abandoned. It's been abandoned for, I would say, quite some time now. Give you the grand tour of the kitchen. The tour of the abandoned house. It's kind of creepy in here, I'm going to be honest. Check out this little door. I was really hoping I'd find something. I have no idea what the f that is, so I'm not going to touch that. This mysterious object has been delicately wrapped in some kind of deli paper and left hanging. I have no idea what this is, but I'm afraid that it was once attached to someone. I totally forgot there's an upstairs. Oh, these are rickety stairs. It's about 20 degrees. That's kind of weird. Oh, and what's over here? There is a Bible. <laughs> there's a there's a Bi <laughs> there's a Bible next to about a hundred toys. The way the book is facing the camera is creepy, like it was left there on purpose, perhaps to guard against some evil in this room. Maybe an exorcism on someone possessed by a demon took place here. With that in mind, what he does next is very questionable indeed. I'm gonna grab this Bible. And take it with me, because I might need it on the way out. All right, time to go. <laughs> I'm just going to leave this here. That's really... Hopefully, removing the book didn't free something from that attic space. Besides that, I wouldn't want to touch anything that was possibly used during an exorcism anyway. And on top of that, discarding the book without a care seems like really bad luck to begin with. Oh, and one more thing. More bad news, of course. I think there may have been more clues in this hole at the top of the stairs, but what was hiding in there could not have been good. I think I might even see a face. When you're arguing whether a shirt is red or maroon, the ghosts in your presence will know they've had enough of you too. Published to YouTube in May of 2020, this is what happens when a ghost gets fed up with your bickering, throws up his hands and storms out of the house he's haunting. The uploader explains that during their last visit to this place, they experienced the door slamming but didn't have a chance to record it, so this time they returned to capture it on film. This video is cut down to 3 minutes of the 50 that were recorded. The clip shows the boys arguing whether or not one of their shirts is red, before deciding to call it quits with the filming. Since it had been nearly an hour, just then something clearly slams in the distance. The uploader says his friend thought it was the hinges of the door, rather than a ghost, but decides that the video is proof it wasn't the hinges. He also claims that he and a friend saw a shadow person in this building as well. The uploader writes, Something said that it could have been air in the last upload, but it wasn't sure. The thing, if it was air, it would have opened it. The air is coming from outside, so it would push out to open. Instead, what we caught was a ghost slamming the door the opposite direction of where the air was coming from. So the force of the door slamming was going against the air. This was filmed in Harlingen, Texas, and there wasn't much airflow in the place according to the uploader. The group was sweating from so much stale heat. Well, maybe the ghost was too. A YouTuber named Nerdy Weasel goes exploring an abandoned house in his neighborhood with a ghost meter to see if it's really as haunted as people say. His first piece of paranormal evidence occurs while entering the old building when the ghost meter goes off by itself. Camera. Here, As he and his friend look around, a paranormal feeling fills them both with a fearful uncertainty, followed by this scary moment. Bro, I don't feel safe right now, bro. I 
fish everywhere. Yo. Yo, I'm not tripping. There's somebody right there. I'm not tripping. There was somebody right there. You can even check the camera back. He thinks he's caught a ghost on camera, and even though his camera fails to capture it, I still believe this video because the ghost meter beeps as soon as he starts talking about seeing a creepy figure. Yo, I'm not tripping. There's somebody right there. I'm not tripping. There was somebody right there. You can even check the camera back. And also at 2 minutes and 30 seconds, if you look closely, a ghost orb floats by the doorway where he says the figure is. They get really freaked out and climb back through the window when the ghost makes an object fall from somewhere inside of the haunted house. They run back to the sidewalk and they laugh at the paranormal encounter through a fence, making the mistake of thinking they're safe. We're here at the. We're here at the Plantation Club Draft House. Just when they thought they'd gotten away, the ghost meter is pounded with paranormal energy and goes off like never before. It's not electronic interference either because the paranormal equipment had been relatively quiet until this scary moment. They try and dodge the ghost by walking fast down the block, but there's no outrunning the paranormal. Finally, it seems to leave them alone until about a block later when Nerdy Weasel feels a mysterious presence wash over them once more. Yeah. First, he says he feels watched by an apparition, and then the ghost meter goes off. If it was the other way around, I'd be skeptical, but this sequence of events seems like they've really offended a spirit that is going to follow them for a long time. It looks like exploring this abandoned house has gone wrong for them in the worst possible way. For a long time, this office webcam video in Lewiston, Idaho has caught weird things on camera between the hours of midnight to 2 a.m. Strange objects like orbs and other creepy stuff. One night, the webcam glitches out really bad and starts picking up odd specks of white light shortly before this mysterious figure is caught on camera with one arm raised. The apparition gets bigger as it presumably floats closer to the camera. The person who uploaded this says the building has a history of paranormal sightings. Maybe what we're seeing now is exactly what was haunting them. Freaky, right? This eerie video has me doing a double take, published by Spot You Like in April of 2008. This scary clip is filmed outside the stunning York Minister. The bells are ringing and the cameraman is taking it all in. He scans the cathedral and then starts walking toward it. A shot later, he is continuing on his way down a narrow shop lane. While the bells continue to sound, shops line either side of the street. But watch what happens in the upper window to the left. The cameraman zooms in on the ghostly pale face of a small child looking out the window. The child's eyes are dark and inky, and its face mask-like. As the camera zooms, the child disappears. The uploader notes that the house is called the Belfry and was built in the 17th century. Some in the comments claim to have stayed there and say that it has seriously spooky vibes. Is this the thing putting out those vibes? I'd say it's a pretty good chance. While exploring a spooky abandoned cellar, these ghost hunters face something more fearsome than ghosts. Published by Scary Labs in August of 2021, this scary video shows the crew investigating several dark bricked rooms. The cameraman scans one room that appears to be empty. Then he turns to his colleague, who is directing her camera toward another room, asking the spirits to come forward. When the spirits refuse to answer, the cameraman turns back toward the previously empty room, only it's not empty anymore. Black cloak, black hair, pale skin. What was this thing? I'm guessing Professor Snape, but the crew didn't stick around long enough to find out. Lewis Clark and his friends want to check out this old abandoned train up close to see what's in it. All the train cars are mostly empty. 
But then they see something horrible in the caboose. What the f What is that? Oh, what? What the f Oh my god. The sheets are covered in red splotches and appear to have something heavy underneath them. But Lewis Clark and his friends don't dare unwrap them. They run away from the scene as fast as possible instead, jumping over a second sheet in the process. What was under these sheets, if anything, is anyone's guess, though many have speculated that both incidents could have been covering an actual body. As far as I know, Lewis Clark and his friends have not returned to unwrap the sheets, and they probably never will. With the video title, Doberman vs. Mailman, I think we're all expecting there's a dog at this street address who is really tired of seeing this mailman, and today it's going to deliver him a final message of its own to stay away. The mailman slowly approaches. Clearly, he's dealt with this Doberman before, but as the Doberman isn't doing the same slow approach, he quickly turns around and is soon being chased, running for his life. The dog catches up quickly and appears to snatch something from him and heads back to the house. The mailman's demeanor switches from terrified to looking like he's having a fun time. So maybe he was in on this from the start, or maybe he's happy the Doberman didn't try to snatch an arm or leg instead. A YouTuber named JPays57 catches a minute and a half long slew of paranormal activity in a solid white room that's mostly bare. First a paper flies up, and then with no one in the room, mind you. A woman's voice says a single word I wanted you to interpret. As for the piece of paper moving, I don't hear the wind and besides that, the paper actually blows towards the window, so that explanation wouldn't really make sense. A toolbox and a closet open at once, which could be coordinated between two people, but there's nobody in the room to pick up the camera and see who's in there. I hear a strange, otherworldly sigh. Do you? It sounds upset and nothing like the woman's voice before. The closet door closes, and then the door closes shortly after. Somebody could be on the other side of the closet, but nobody is on either side of the door. I don't see any fishing wire tied around the knob, but I admit it's kind of too far away to tell, so tell me if you're convinced. A group of Bigfoot hunters are searching for clues deep in the woods when they come across something ominous glowing in the clear night sky. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. See? Oh. Three. And in a different position. Three orbs appear to form a mysterious triangular pattern off in the distance. Every once in a while, the light on top gets extremely bright and then fades away. They can't figure out what these lights are, and I'm not quite sure either. Tell me if you think this was an alien sighting, or maybe even some sort of experimental aircraft. All I know is that if these bizarre lights really are a regular occurrence around these woods, then maybe the idea of Bigfoot isn't so far-fetched after all. Have you ever met an angry shadow you're about to? Posted to the ghost subreddit by SensitiveChart6221, this scary video was captured in Amarillo, Texas, as the Redditor and his friends were exploring. The footage shows the group walking down the hallway of an abandoned hospital. Watch the doorway at the end of the hall. You can see a dark figure around the corner. It moves out of view as they pass, but it's not clear if that's because the cameraman is veering left or the figure physically hides itself. The right side door also seems to fall closed. A moment later, you hear a strange groan or growl. <laughs> Some in the comments think it sounds like an animal. Others think that the dark figure is just the shadow of the dude in the white shirt. Or could the shadow figure be growling at these intruders? I'm gonna go with that as my guess. A group of forest rangers set up a camera at the Platte River State Fish Hatchery in Michigan to live stream a nest of baby bald eagles mature. They were never intending to accidentally capture a second, much larger creature instead during the live feed.
A giant humanoid figure covered in what appears to be black fur prowls around the forest floor below. It doesn't look like any other native forest animal, as it clearly stands upright and swings its arms while walking. Maybe it's a person in a full body suit, or maybe it's an actual Bigfoot. Then again, since numerous other Bigfoot sightings have been reported in the state over the years, it could very well be legit. A YouTuber named Talk to Trending records a ghost video in Tamil, India at a haunted fort. An extremely powerful spirit is said to reside here, and the ghost hunters can't resist the chance to explore the abandoned building for paranormal traces. <laughs> As they talk more about the haunted place, a ghostly apparition materializes behind them. It looks to be in the shape of a person wearing robes from head to toe, and when it moves out of sight, the ghost hunter looks over his shoulder where it would have been. I think this could be his paranormal sixth sense kicking in to keep him safe, but this could also simply be the way his flashlight plays against the stone wall behind him. Although it's weird that it takes such a human-like shape, tell me what explanation you think is true. YouTuber Memoria Sobre Natural INC believes they were guided to this location by something paranormal. And maybe that's true, but it doesn't seem to want to let him in. Opa! Cara, que que é isso, mano? Cara, que que é isso? At first, it seems like something might just be pushed up against the door blocking it. But then you see movement. Watch the crack in the doorway. Olha isso, cara. Oh, dá uma olhada. Whatever's inside doesn't seem human. Ah, cara, você é louco? Eu juro que eu achei que eu tinha visto um demônio aqui agora, a hora que eu fui abrir a porta. Ah, cara, meu coração foi a mil aqui, ó. Bom, pessoal, eu acho que... Phew, it's just a ball. Or is it... I think this horned beast is more demon than it appears. The historic Jefferson has plenty of haunting footage. This clip is one of the most chilling. Captured by a guest staying in the doll room, the footage shows one of the room's many dolls coming to life. First, watch behind the pillow. It just peers out like that for about a minute. That movement, though. Something peers out. It's one of the dolls. A moment later, the doll falls over. Um. This is the doll in question. The staff shares its creepy history. It does have history to it. Um, typically, we'll put the doll here just to make it look kind of creepy, but we've had several guests say that the doll's not there. We'll come and look, and the doll will be behind the chair. One time, that was... The doll is creepy just looking at it, but this footage on top of its history of innate creepiness ensures that I can't handle staying in the doll room. A TikTok user named Caesar in MP is piloting a plane when he sees an oddly terrifying unknown flying object skimming the clouds. <laughs> Just below, the tiny circular object appears to have no propellers and emits no exhaust. It looks like it's moving extremely fast, but keep in mind Caesar is passing it in his own aircraft, so its exact speed is unknown. A regular civilian drone could not move at this rate of speed, and its design looks more complex than a regular drone. So what do you think? Secret project? Or something from someplace much farther away than Earth? Joe Rob TV sees something on the side of the road that's so creepy, he isn't even sure if he was imagining it or not, so he has to take a second look. This time he has his camera ready to record. What the f Oh, what the f Oh, what the f The strange person slowly approaches with their hands in their pockets, almost like they've been expecting him. And Joe Rob quickly speeds off. 
It's hard to tell if they are wearing a Halloween mask or if their facial features are really that oversized and distorted in real life. If they are wearing a mask, it must extend under the shirt because I can't see where the mask ends and their neckline begins. Does this janitor have some ghostly helpers he isn't even aware of? Published by Alan Abueg in June of 2018. This security footage captured something unexpected. A janitor is seen sweeping up outside a school. As he works patiently, something is seen rolling up on its own behind him. A closer look shows that it's a pair of stand-up dustpans. They both slide toward the wall, filling in one after the other. The janitor doesn't even notice. If spirits are doing the dirty work, at least they seem helpful rather than malicious. This window washer is apparently unconcerned with keeping his life, let alone his job. The brazen worker sees nothing wrong with standing on a ledge that's so narrow. He has to spread his feet outwards just to keep any semblance of traction. And of course, the only way to wash the window in this position is to fully shut it. Notice how there's no safety harness or any other equipment for that matter. If he loses his balance now, the only way to fall is straight down. Meanwhile, he has to rely on a spotter to open the window from the inside to let him back in. And when it's finally time to open the window, he has to wedge his arms in the frame and hold one of the most awkward positions I've ever seen. The cameraman, who is panicking for him, pans down to the ground to show that this video is not a joke. This is a drop he absolutely would not survive. Who's there? Redditor Sal26 Serrano says remodeling was being done in this vacant apartment complex of four, and the owner of the property was downstairs with him at the time. So who is making this noise? Did you hear it? <laughs> There's definitely someone there, but whether they're supposed to be there or not is the next question. My guess would be this place has squatters. Strange noises have been happening in Peter's house since he moved in two weeks ago. Published in December of 2009, Peter Yan TV writes, It happened again last night, and I was brave enough to capture this on tape. Loud clashing occurs as Peter turns on his camera in a dark hallway. He flicks on the light and looks downstairs. The sound stops. He loudly walks down the wooden stairs, likely to scare whoever or whatever is there. He finds nothing in the room downstairs, at least nothing that we can see. When he heads back upstairs, he flicks off the light and heads back into his room. He hears something slam downstairs, and then what sounds like slow footsteps up the stairs. He waits in fear, and they just keep coming, louder and louder. Then a shoe is thrown at him from out of the darkness. When he runs forward, there's nothing on the stairs or in the hallway. As many in the comments say, this dude should be leaving every light in the house on. Donnie regularly sees what he thinks is a shadow person in his home. It's always in the basement, always coming from the corner of his eye, and always going way too fast to be a normal person. He can feel its anger downstairs, and he knows that it wants to do him harm. Donnie decides to put music on blast to see what kind of reaction he can get on camera. After 20 minutes, this shadow can take no more and races upstairs, causing these lights to move. 
Soon the same angry feeling returns, and Donnie knows that it's back. He starts recording down a dark hall, and these bottles move on their own. You are not welcome here. You and I both heard them fall, but no one else is around to knock them over. At least nobody that I could see. And just around the corner are the stairs leading down to the dark, cold basement. When Ravi Singh and his friends see two mysterious figures in white, they have an odd reaction and decide to flash their high beams instead of driving away. I feel like they are trying to prove a point here, but I don't understand. So if you speak the language, tell me what they're saying. आगे कर अब डिप पर मार तो प्रवास हो बापा मन What's kind of weird is how the possible spirits always seem to stay just outside of the headlights, almost like they want to follow but only while staying in the darkness. And I think they are trying to point out that the spirits do not show up on the dash cam, but I'm not sure. हां हां जान दे जान दे पीछू रहन जान दे चल 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 जान दे पीछू I'm hoping someone can translate this scenario because I really want to know what's going on. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.